All right, so I got an unexpected day off today. I went into work and it was literally dead. And I was supposed to have this day off, but then the person canceled. So basically they just ended up sending me home anyway. And if you hear like weird jingling in the background, my cat decided that now is the perfect time to eat. <laughs> but whatever. So anyway, short of the long of that story is I went thrifting, which was kind of a very spur of the moment thing. I ended up spending a little over $50, which is definitely not what I expected to spend, but I mean, it's usually the case when I go thrifting and if I see something I like, I usually get it as long as it's not ridiculously priced. So anyway, one of the things I got is this bra, but um, yeah, I'm not going to really show you <laughs> too much of that because it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I wanted to try it on. I haven't tried on really any of these because I literally just came home but before I take the tags off and everything I figured I would show you because I usually don't remember how much things are this bra was $4.49 I don't remember what the, what the brand is but it's nothing that I've heard of but it looked comfortable and it is uh, this other bra was three dollars and something and or no it was $5.29 and it's by airy I don't know I've never heard of that brand either but I can generally tell by just like the way that it looks whether or not it's gonna be comfortable and this actually is like in really good shape so I'm guessing that it probably didn't fit well for them because this is supposedly a 36 double D and I range anywhere from a 34 D to a 36 double D depending on the shape or the um, brand and how my weight fluctuates because my weight's like pretty much always fluctuating and this kind of fits small because yeah even though it's a double D it's still kind of um, a little bit of like not really spillage but like borderline spillage if that makes any sense but anyway it's a nice bra and I'm still like in the process of trying to lose weight so I'm sure once that happens it'll fit a little bit better but I mean it still fits okay and for you know the price it was only five dollars I think it was definitely worth it and I like the way it looks it's I don't know it's nice um I think I had another bra somewhere in here because that was like the main thing I was looking for it was a bra a belt and um a tv table and if you're younger you probably don't even know what tv tables are or tv trays or whatever but they're like these little collapsible tables that people used to eat on because like their family instead of like sitting around the dining room table or whatever they would sit in front of the tv and just eat there and that's why it was called a tv table because obviously you're watching tv as you're eating or whatever um, i didn't get it for that purpose i got it for a different purpose basically to stand my laptop on when I'm filming because it's easier than trying to find a random thing to prop it on so yeah that didn't happen they didn't have anything so anyway uh, this next thing is a bra as well and it's by Maiden Form I've never heard of them either but it's made of this really soft material it's similar to Body by Victoria's Secret which is a really nice line of theirs. I don't know if it's still around anymore, but it was like the, the seamless bra that you basically can't feel the underwire and it kind of just conforms to your body, which is really, really nice. And it was like my favorite bra from them and they just continued whichever one it was. But anyway, this feels similar to that. And I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried this one on yet, but um, it was 469. And I don't even think the size is anywhere on here. Or no, it's right here. Um, 36D. See, like, if you look at, and it could be just the, the design of it. But, like, this is just a regular, this is a double D. And then this is a D. Like, this one looks a lot bigger in the cup than this one does so maybe it's supposed to spill over like that I don't know but um, 
not with a, a, not taking aesthetics into consideration I prefer the ones that cover your boobs more because I kind of have you know bigger boobs and the really cute tiny bras just don't work for me so I kind of need one of the more uglier bras to be able to function and actually keep my boobs in place so that's that and then I got a couple of belts there was one belt I really wanted to get but it was like seven dollars and I'm like I'm not paying seven dollars for a used item like that's insane like there are a couple things that I spent more than I wanted to on but they were really cute and I just couldn't pass them up but that wasn't one of them um, I really like this belt to kind of like go with some of the sweaters that I have especially the sweater um, kind of dresses that I have and this one was 309 I get the this one stretches most of these stretch but I like the high-waisted belts like I hate high-waisted anything except for belts just because it like it makes your boobs look bigger and your it accentuates your waist and um, honestly a lot of like the belts that actually go around your hips or whatever they're too small or I'm too big whatever whichever you want to however you want to put it so those don't really work well with me plus like I have the same issue with pants they just don't fit right which I got a couple of pants here that I don't know how they're gonna fit but um, I have a <laughs> this is like getting so inappropriate I have a big ass so um, it's hard to find pants that fit right because they usually the waist is way too high because I don't like wearing my pants all the way up here I just don't like that um, the only time I think that even looks remotely okay is if you're really really skinny and obviously I'm not so yeah anyway <laughs> this other belt was a dollar eighty nine I wasn't sure about it but again I got it for the purpose of like a high-waisted thing but it is pretty small but it was only a dollar eighty nine so I figured I would take the risk of it not working and I could always make it into something else like maybe a choker or something I don't know that's the thing about thrifting that I like is that even if you don't put it to use or don't have to be using it for what you wanted to use it for, whatever. You're not really out of much because you didn't really pay that much for it. So, I don't know. It's just, it's not that bad. Um, this belt is similar to the belt that I wanted, but actually cuter. And again, this one lo looks like it might be a little bit too small, but it does stretch. You gotta keep that in mind. And it's gonna be like up here. Um, I love these like big buckled kind of belts. And I love the fact that it's red because I'm really missing a lot of red attire in my wardrobe. I mainly have like a lot of blacks and grays and um, browns, which are fine, but it's nice to have, you know, a selection, a variety of colors and all that. So I'm really happy that I got this. And it was actually half of $4.29 because all of the yellow tags were 50% off. So that was great. Um, and I think that's it for like accessories. So now I can't remember what I've uploaded and what I haven't because like I've thrifted a ton since probably the last video I uploaded. I have a thing about stripes and I don't know what it is, especially striped shirts. So a lot of these are striped. <laughs> uh, this one's by Pink Rose and it was $1.89. I'm probably going to remove that pocket if it's possible because I don't really like it. But I like the shirt and I love the material. It's like a really thin, airy material, which I love. It's super comfortable. And again, it's red. So I like that because, like I said, I don't have very many red items in my clothing, which is odd because red has, was at one point my favorite color and it's still up there. So I don't know. I just don't find many red things that are good or whatever. Uh, this one is by Stem. And this was $1.69. Again, another striped shirt. Very thin material, like the other one. Love it. I have actually a couple shirts that look almost exactly like this, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, this next one might be a little bit too small, but again, like I said, uh, I plan on losing, you know, weight, more weight eventually. So if it's not, I'm not really worried about it. Plus, it was only $1.89. So, yeah. Uh, this one's a large, but it's kind of a small large. Like, it's not super small, but it's not, I don't know. It might be okay, 
the only thing I'm worried about is like the length because I don't really like super short shirts and since my boobs you know they kind of pull everything up but I love the fact that it has a hood that's got kind of a low neckline in the pockets it's kind of like a hoodie but like a hoodie shirt which I love one of my favorite shirts is like that and it's ironically striped as well probably I think I did show that in a haul one time um, so that's it for the shirts. I try not to get too many shirts because I have, that's like one thing, that and dresses I have the most of because they're the e easiest to shop for. And I love dresses because not only do I like, like the way that they look, but again, since I'm bigger, I find all, them to be a lot easier to fit into and find stuff that fits me because they're not as like conforming. And I don't really like tight things. Like, I could probably fit into smaller, like, pants and stuff, but I don't like them constricting my stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, this one is probably technically a shirt, but it's a sweater. And I don't know why I'm into sweaters now, because I never liked them. And it's only certain type of sweaters. Maybe I just had a bad rep or bad relationship with sweaters because I always thought that they were, like, itchy, because that's how they always were, but... These ones, um, I really like the, it's like a baggy turtleneck style. I like that. I think it's really nice. And it's kind of like longer, so you could wear, I plan on wearing um, leggings with this. I am one of those people that wear leggings as kind of pants, but I always try to make sure that my shirt is long enough to where it's, I kind of like wear leggings for dresses that are kind of too short, because I don't really like really super short dresses on me but uh yeah this was $4.89 and by New York Collection but I thought it was really nice even though hopefully winter is going away but in Ohio you can never really tell when it's done this one was the item that I was talking about that I paid more than I wanted to for but it looks seriously like it's never even been worn and I can tell just by looking at it that the quality is really nice. I've never heard of this brand before. It's uh, Maurice's but I don't know it just looks like it would be like a higher end brand um, and considering the price it probably was because I think the way Value World does their things is like they take a fraction of the retail price and that's how they mark their items. I'm not exactly sure. I know one of them is like that. It could be Goodwill because Goodwill is usually too expensive which is why I don't go there. Um, this was $10.09. I mean it's not expensive but for like a thrifted item it's expensive. But I thought it was beautiful and I really wanted a sweater dress and it's like really long but I would still wear leggings under this. But I have like dark gray leggings that would look really nice and then possibly wear a belt with it depending on how it looked. But it's really nice and it's somewhat like kind of stretchy so it's not super like, because I don't like the sweaters that are like super tight knit to where they don't, they're not flexible. I don't really get any, any material like that. But um, yeah, it's really nice and really soft and really nice. <laughs> Um, I'll show you this dress and then I'll get into the couple pairs of pants that I bought. This was like a really random thing, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. It's kind of weird. Kind of like bohemian-ish. I don't even know if that's the right thing, but it's by Newport News. It's a size 12, but I don't know. I don't really go by sizes because depending on the brand and like when it was made and all this other crap, like sizes go so randomly like you'll find a large that's like this big and then a small and another thing that's this big like I have all different kinds of sizes in my wardrobe and it's ridiculous so even though this is a 12 which is smaller than you know my most of my clothes since it is a dress I didn't really think there would be an issue but um yeah it's just kind of Kind of like a peasant top type thing but a dress and, I, and the thing about dresses too that are like kind of like this like more casual dresses is if i don't end up liking the way they look on me sometimes i just wear them to bed it's kind of like a like a pajama dress i forget what those things are called but uh yeah so it's not that big of a deal 
it was only three three dollars so I liked that and then these last two things are pants I think one of them if not both are actually capris but um, this one's by Dockers and I don't know if Dockers like have depreciated in value because I remember Dockers I thought at one point were really expensive but I've been finding a lot of Dockers at Value World really cheap because like the other pair of pants that I found that look practically brand new were also like $1.89 so I don't know um, but yeah that's what these look like that's another thing that I have kind of like a fetish with is like plaid and this isn't like or checkered I don't know what you would call this. Probably more checkered than plaid. But anything that's like that, like the boxes, I have a thing for, especially like in bottoms, like whether it be a skirt or pants or whatever. I don't know, it's really weird. So I guess I have a thing with lines. But I don't know. I figured, like I said, if I don't fit into them now, maybe I will when I'm a little bit smaller. And if not, I mean, it's only $1.89. It's not that big of a deal. So this last item is another pair of pants. I think these are legit pants. Yeah. Um, these are by RQT. Looks like they might be like a vintage one. And these were $2.89. That's kind of like a dress pair of pants. These actually look like they might be high-waisted because usually when they have like backs like that they're kind of that way. I don't know. There's certain higher waisted things I can deal with as long as basically it's not like constricting me. Like I don't like that. Like I don't know. I just don't like it. So <clears throat> hopefully they, those fit but if not it was only less than three dollars so whatever. Because I am trying to get another job that's like more professional so I need you know not like I don't have more than enough clothes probably but Considering I don't really go out much and my job has uniforms so I don't have to worry about that. I haven't really worn a lot of what I have. So yeah, I don't know if that made any sense. Anyway, that is it. Um, I could tell you exactly how much it was. Uh, $53.90. And then I got this little, <clears throat> they're back to doing their cards. Every now and then they have these employee appreciation or not employee frequent shopper card whatever for every five dollars you spend they give you a little punch and then i think it's on wednesdays and sunday you can yeah sunday and wednesday through a certain amount of time this one's good until august 30th so that gives a lot of time which i don't, I don't typically go on sunday or wednesday but if i have a 50 percent off card you know depending on if i need to go thrifting or not um, I'll make an effort to go or whatever. But anyway, um, I think there was something else I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it was. That is it. If you have any questions or whatever, put them below.